Welcome to Horizon Hop, and today we are going to be counting down the top 10 beaches to visit in Turks and Caicos. Stick around until the end of the video and we'll tell you why Turks and Caicos in addition to its layback and relaxed atmosphere is also one of the best locations in the world for adrenaline seekers that appreciate a certain water sport. So, without further ado, let's dive right into the top 10 best beaches in Turks and Caicos. Number 10. Beach at Malcolm's Road You can go snorkeling, scuba diving, or just relax on the pristine sands and turquoise waters of Malcolm's Road Beach. The sand is grainy and fresh, with beautiful peach tones, but it's surprisingly comfortable to walk on. It's also not far from a vertical seawall that leads to fantastic diving and snorkeling on the offshore reef. Beautiful limestone cliffs rise from the lake at some points, providing excellent photo opportunities. Note that this dive site is not suitable for inexperienced divers and poses a significant risk to anyone who enters it without proper training and equipment. If you are experienced though, this is one of the better free diving places in the entire archipelago. Number 9. Leeward Beach With neighboring luxury rentals and plenty of seaside fun, Leeward Beach provides pristine white sand, gorgeous blue waves, and a peaceful, secluded ambience. It boasts a calm, quiet setting with protected channels that are ideal for canoeing, windsurfing, and stand-up paddleboarding. Beachgoers and shell collectors also like this location. This 7-mile stretch has excellent swimming conditions. In addition to its natural beauty, the region provides convenient access to deserted offshore caves where you're able to observe rare animal species. Every day, you can spot eco-tours and tour boats cruising along the shoreline. Sunrises and sunsets are particularly beautiful during these times. Number 8. Long Bay Beach For water sports enthusiasts, Long Bay Beach is the place to go. The beach's clear waters, fine white sand, and shallow depths make it ideal for long days at the beach of both relaxing and adventuring. You can also go on a horseback riding tour off the coast or go to the site where a Soviet oil rig ran aground in 2004 during Hurricane Francis. Premium resorts are also located near the beach if you wish to be pampered during your visit. This beach has it all, excitement, calm, and elegance. Number 7. Half Moon Bay Half Moon Bay is a beach and sandbar lagoon where visitors can take a boat tour and hopefully spot some of the island's critically endangered rock iguanas. This beach is a terrific site for nature enthusiasts and offers the possibility to view lemon sharks in the lagoon and witness groves of thatch coconut palms along the coastline. This is an inhabited, unspoiled island accessible by boat tour or charter yacht. Although you may also grab a kayak charter from Providencialis in order to explore alone, you won't be finding any attractions in Half Moon Bay because the island hasn't been developed. Simply said, it's a location to escape the city and spend time in the great outdoors. Number 6. Mudjin Harbor The limestone cliffs of Mudjin Harbor provide stunning vistas of the coast. While the nearby caves are great for spelunking and getting amazing pictures of nature's might, the water is dangerous to swim in due to the presence of reef sharks and jagged rocks, but the surrounding landscape is breathtaking. You can see the sea from above if you can scale the limestone cliffs. The Turks and Caicos Islands are home to the world's largest known dry cave system, which you can explore. This 3-mile-long shoreline on the northeastern coast of Middle Caicos provides a breathtaking landscape. You can take pictures of the stunning sunrises and sunsets over the water and island. Number 5. The Sapodilla Bay Beach Sapodilla Bay Beach, located on the southwest coast of Providencialis, is known for its tranquil seas, beautiful sunsets, and proximity to national parks and restaurants. 
If you're looking for something to do after a day of lounging in the warm, clear seas of the Caribbean, travel up to Sapodilla Hill where you can take in breathtaking views of the shoreline and harbor and also discover old rock carvings from the area's first inhabitants. Only meters from the shoreline, you can discover fantastic seafood eating and kayak rentals and even schedule a sightseeing boat trip on the lagoon. This excursion explores Chalk Sound National Park and its countless limestone islets. Number 4. The Bite Beach the Bite Beach offers just about everything you could desire from a beach, including superb reef snorkeling, a kid's play park, magnificent vistas, and brilliant white sand. Seagrass thrives on the ocean floor about 75 feet offshore, drawing snorkelers who want to see stingrays, nurse sharks, hawksbill turtles, starfish, and other beautiful marine life. The beach's core section is also bigger than most others on the island, providing more space to spread out and unwind. The Bite Reef, where you may observe even more colorful Caribbean marine life, lies close to the shore. Boating, kayaking, and paddleboarding are all popular water sports here. Number 3. Taylor Bay Beach Providence Chalice On the southern coast, Taylor Bay Beach Providence Chalice is a small, picturesque beach with shallow, white waters that are perfect for swimming. It is particularly well known for the complex designs that are revealed in the sand during low tide. Despite the abundance of surrounding villa rentals, this beach rarely sees more than a handful of people at a time because of its shallow waves and gentle currents, making it ideal for children. The beach is not good for snorkeling, scuba diving, or other water sports due to the low sea cliffs that provide protection. If you're searching for a tranquil place to just chill out, this beach is a hidden treasure among the others in the area. Number 2. Governor's Beach The water at Governor's Beach on Grand Turk Island is some of the purest in the archipelago and it is located close to both historic landmarks and major cruise ports. The beach was once the site of a significant shipwreck, but today it is popular with tourists because of the nearby governor's residence and cruise liners that visit the area. This is where you'll find water so pure that you may not even require a snorkel to glimpse the vivid sea life beneath the waves. Governor's Beach is a pristine beach destination. Whether you're there to see the mansion or just to soak up some sun and swim in the Caribbean. Number 1. Gray's Bay Beach Coming up at the top of our list is the magnificent Gray's Bay Beach. Gray's Bay Beach is well known all around the world for its exceptional scuba diving and seemingly infinite expanses of white sand. The aquamarine water in this area is so clean and dazzling that it appears to sparkle in the sunlight. Along Providence Chalice, North Shore, it is a portion of Princess Alexandra National Park. You can go scuba diving and snorkeling among the vibrant marine life of the Caribbean's vast coral reef. Or you may just rest on the fine, white sand and soak up the rays. This beach is perfect for families, groups of friends, and romantic getaways. Gray's Bay Beach has it all, including sand castle building, sunbathing, swimming, and water sports. But that's not all. As promised, adrenaline seekers behold. Did you know that Turks and Caicos is one of the premier kite surfing destinations in the world? And for good reason. The island formations make for calm and serene waters along the shore, perfect for kite surfing. And the best part? The water is so shallow that you can keep your feet on the sand even as you venture dozens of meters from the beach. But the real magic lies in the constant trade winds that the Caribbeans are situated in the middle of. The east-southeast trade winds are the most predictable and consistent on Providence Chalice, especially during the winter months, usually November to May. When the breeze picks up, it's more predictable and consistent than most winds, making it ideal for kite surfing. 
the most well-known location for catching perfect winds to experience this adrenaline-inducing sport is in Long Bay Beach, where the conditions are ideal for all levels of kite surfing. If you're new to kite surfing or looking to improve your skills, don't worry. There are plenty of PASA and IKO certified kiteboarding instructors with decades of experience who can train both adults and teens. So, what are you waiting for? Come, experience the kite surfing mecca that is the Turks and Caicos Islands. We hope you enjoyed the video, but now that it's over, what did you think? What places on this list of the best beaches in Turks and Caicos will you likely visit first? Leave your comments down below. And don't forget to hit that like button. Also, click subscribe and turn on post notifications if you enjoyed the video. Want to see more from us in the future? Before you go, be sure to check out our other videos up on screen now as well to help with planning your next adventure. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video on the top 10 beaches in Turks and Caicos and I hope to see you soon at this perfect paradise.